When a model is imported in Visualize, it uses the appearances from the imported file to divide up the model. These appearances are then applied to the parts in Visualize and can be adjusted in the Appearances tab to achieve the desired results. There are a few ways to go about this in Visualize. The first is to simply update the appearance by selecting it from the Appearance tab and changing the settings there. Another way is by creating a new appearance and then applying it to the part. As a final option, appearances can be pulled directly from the local and cloud libraries and applied to the part, where further adjustments can then be made. This lesson will take a look at how to create a new appearance and how to use the local and cloud libraries to find and apply appearances. The appearances in this model were part of the original import, and most of them have already been updated. There are two key appearances, however, that are still the generic appearance type from the original import the main body, and the rims. For the main body, I want to create an orange metallic paint and apply it, while the rims will use a metal appearance that I'll pull from the cloud library. To get started on the new appearance, I'll switch to the Appearance tab and click New Appearance. A gray matte appearance is created and selected so I can start modifying it. I'll rename it Main Body. And to make the changes easier to follow, I'll first apply it to the model. As I click and drag the appearance into the viewport, notice that whenever I pause and hover over a part, a preview of that appearance appears on that part to help make sure that the appearance is applied to the correct part. Note, however, that appearances dragged directly from the cloud library won't generate a preview. With the new appearance applied to the main body, I'll go to the Appearance tab and select the Appearance Type drop-down menu. There are 15 types available, and each option will have different settings. So I recommend experimenting with each to get an idea of how they all work. For the body, however, I'll select the paint type. A few more adjustment options appear in the Appearances tab, and the viewport updates the appearance. These options can be adjusted to get any look, but for this example, I'll only adjust the clear coat and color options. I'll increase the clear coat to 20, which will add some sheen to the appearance. To change the color, I'll simply click in the color field next to color and the Color Picker window appears. From here, I can use the sliders to select a color, use the favorite colors already saved at the bottom of the window, or use the Color Picker. To use the Color Picker, I'll click and hold the dropper icon. The window just under the picker will show the exact pixels the dropper is hovering over, with the pixel outlined in red being the exact pixel used. The Color Picker isn't bound to visualize, however, so if I shrink Visualize to show an image of an orange Camaro, I can then use the color picker to select the exact orange I want. I'll maximize Visualize again and go to the Library tab where I'll find the Chrome Appearance to add. I'll switch to the Cloud Library where I have access to over a thousand professional grade appearances uploaded by SolidWorks. I'll open the Metal folder and drag the chrome appearance onto the front and back rims. Then switch to the Appearance tab. Notice that dragging it in twice created two chrome appearances that need to be adjusted independently. To make them both update together, I can combine all appearances with the same settings by right-clicking in blank space and selecting Unify All Identical Appearances. Since they had the same settings, they're now one appearance. To add the appearance to rims on the other side, I can drag and drop it like before or use a special copy and paste shortcut. I'll hold Shift and left click the rim appearance in the viewport to copy the appearance, rotate the model, then hold Shift again and right click on both rims to paste the copied appearance. Using this technique can speed up adding the same appearance to multiple parts in larger projects. If I've set up a custom appearance like Main Body that I know I'll want to use in future projects, I can easily save it to the local library or a specific file from the Save options at the bottom of the tab.